All right, what's happening, Dice? Explain to me, because we have heard nothing. And the game is next month. Let me repeat that. The game is next month. Where is the beta? They said September. Now there's this date that's starting to sound a little bit concerning to the time it is. And it leads me to think Battlefield 2042 is facing development issues. It was, the beta was originally meant to start last month in August. But it was pushed back to this month. Now it makes sense because if you think about it, you want to give players a little bit of time after the beta, especially ones that have no idea if they want to buy it. Just consider what's happening, watch videos on it and have a chance to play it. And then they have that nice little amount of time to think about it. That's the marketing aspect of it. Now it's a, they get a month to think about it, even less, according to this new leak from Tom Henderson that says the beta will be launching on the 22nd of September. And he's even offered 10 free versions of Battlefield 2042 if he's wrong. So it leads me to kind of think that he may be right. Well, he's a scammer, who knows? It just leads to worrying though, when they were talking about the beta and they were showing in-game like play playthroughs and stuff like that. And now we've just got nothing. I mean, we've got a meme that says it's coming September and their social media's kind of just been quiet, apart from the tribute. Uh, rest in peace, Michael K. Williams. That's all their activity. Had a little, another trailer, another 1 minute 30 trailer, and that's it. I mean, you'd think there'd be more. So why are we having some of these issues and delays? It was said to be done to implement cosplay functionality. And apparently now, we haven't heard 100% information, so I think this article is kind of just guessing, assuming, uh, has his own is free to play. Crossplay would be a fundamental aspect. So why was it not included from the start? It's weird to see crossplay being added so late, considering they've had a record amount of time to work on Battlefield 2042. Now you could argue, pandemic, they had to work on updating the Frostbite engine, fair enough. It still raises concerns though about three years of development they've had, and they probably were already thinking about it before Battlefield 5 launch. So combined together with the fact that details surrounding the game is scarce, it seems to symbolize a messy developmental scene at EA. It doesn't look good just dribbling information down to your community managers and the people that run your social media. It doesn't look very prepared. It looks like they're kind of just pushing it back a day or so so they can finish. So if you compare it to the timeline leading up to the pre predecessor, which was Battlefield 5, we would have already seen a couple trailers and had a chance to play the alpha. With this, we only had about six seconds of combat at best. So you think to make up for it, you might get like an extended gameplay trailer. Most of the gameplay trailers have been cut. So can we just get a clean 15 minute round or something? Keep us going. My correction, the technical playlist is, I, I assumed that they were talking about the beta then, but they're actually talking about the NDA alpha. It is an alpha, I don't know, don't know who wrote this. But I was just referring to it because it had some good information. But the technical play test did happen in August, that is correct. There was a strict NDA, we all know how that went down. Chinese YouTube started uploading it, I believe. And then everyone got their hands on the videos, downloaded it and started uploading it. So we've had a good look at how the game runs. I still want to see the polished version, because I know they're not polishing it for the technical play test. Can't even see like the helicopter blades spinning and then everyone expected that battlefield was going to be announced at gamescon to have some new information or a gameplay trailer or beta information it kind of seems so unprepared with what they're doing at the moment i mean after they've just ruined their prison because ea had never missed a battlefield multiplayer reveal at the event in recent memory and we all thought battlefield 2042 was going to be there i was ready to watch it but we got nothing okay so first there was a leak for the 6th of September, I think we can all tell by now that that didn't happen. So now we're looking onto the date that it is being thought of. And we we'll don't think they can delay it any further. Otherwise, they're gambling. The official beta date, not 100% confirmed. Who knows what can happen, but I doubt they'll delay it back. Is September 22nd. Media and content creators will be able to play behind closed doors on the 20th. No, it's I'm not going to get in there, I'll tell you that. 
I'm not on there. It's been cross-checked and verified, and as we all know, Tom Henderson does have quite a few contacts. So I am inclined to believe that it will start on the 22nd, which is a strongly educated. We're definitely going to get some information by the 22nd. Otherwise, I'll make one more video crying. We're just emphasizing there's a lack of communication, which is really concerning. We're just getting like ghosted by the Twitter. I think what we have to consider here, that yes, there has been some struggles, but if you were sitting on the fence with Battlefield, I would wait. Wait till the beta. See how it is. If you're watching this video, you can see my impressions. I'll post it as soon as I can. And yeah, just wait because it's looking a little bit concerning here. I, I mean, you can't really defend that the beta is, has not been delayed. It has. They would be advertising it by now if it has. And be going like, oh, you can download it. But they're obviously running around with their hands up because this is what happens. Game culture is about crunch. It's chill at the start when they're just creating the ideas, getting, you know, the bases out. But then when we get to the last couple months, crunch, crunch, crunch. Because the hard date is set and they have to get this to quality for Christmas. Now, do I see it getting delayed? No, I don't see the game getting delayed. If it does be disappointing if they don't give us a beta on september 22nd we might have to reconsider my statement let me know what you think about this topic because it is concerning really i thought they had it in the bag and they were prepared because they showed off the game pretty quickly now we're just stuck in this area of i mean is the game finished or are they struggling because we have no idea and Battlefield, post something, do it right now, <laughs> when I literally just started making this video, <laughs> like last week. But just give us some information. And slide your tenor. But if anyone else wants to pitch in or just donate to me, I'll totally will hand it over to Dice. Let me know what you guys think, basically. We're kind of hitting an awkward area where I can make less speculative videos, and I'm waiting for information. I will keep trying with my speculative videos on topics and stuff like that with Battlefield, and we'll just see how that goes but if any breaking news comes out i will do my best to post it now i am at a disadvantage because i am not in the marketing time zone i'll try for you guys though i will keep an eye open for information anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you want battlefield 2042 to come out right now leave a like and subscribe i promise you that will happen if you do that i appreciate you guys so much and i'll see you next time peace